This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. This tutorial video covers how you can take grades that were calculated using the Flubaru add-on and combine those grades with manually scored open response item grades. To do this, we're going to make use of the VLOOKUP formula, which allows us to merge items from two different spreadsheets into a single spreadsheet. And we're also going to use a formula to combine and weight the grades so that we can adjust the value on the total grade that is coming from those multiple choice items scored in Flubaru and the open response items. So let's take a look at this example. This is a quiz. These are the form responses to a quiz. And the form responses were graded with Flubaru. So you'll notice there's a second tab that has the grades that were calculated by Flubaru, which is an add-on that will auto-score any mul multiple choice items. In this particular case, if I click back to the original form responses, the last question is actually an open response, which the teacher manually scored. There's a column here where the teacher indicated the grade for each of the open response um, items that uh, that were include that need to be included, but of course these scores are not going to be able to be completed, uh, I'm sorry, included in, in the Flubaru grade. So that's what we're about to do. So first what we need to do is on this sheet right here that has the grades, we want to pull all of the manual grades here and move them into this column so that they're in the same location that our percent scores from Flubaru are. So to do that, we're going to use the VLOOKUP formula. And there are some basic requirements for VLOOKUP. You need to make sure that there's a common denominator between the two sheets you're trying to um, grab data from. So you have, in this case, we have a username. That's a perfect example of, a, of what we would call a search key. So we can search this username. And that same information is in this sheet. So you notice there's this is a unique identifier, and it's common to both sheets. The only tricky thing is you need to make sure that this common identifier is going to be the first column in the, so, the source spreadsheet, which this is. This is the source of the data we want to pull. So I'm going to actually do that by copying this column and just inserting that information here so that now it's the first column has this unique identifier, the search key. And it doesn't matter that the order doesn't match. So you notice this user, this user here is not the same as the first user that submitted. So that's the beauty of VLOOKUP is the order doesn't have to match. Because if it did, we could just copy paste. So here I'm going to start writing the formula for the VLOOKUP. So what I'm going to do is I hit the equal sign, and then I type in VLOOKUP and then an open parentheses. And when I do that, you'll notice that a little box appears that gives me some hints about how to write this formula. So there's a few parts to it. There are actually four parts. The search key, the search range, the column that you're trying to look up, and uh, this true-false, which helps to make sure that the information that's being pulled is accurate. So first, the search key. What I have to do is I have to tell the VLOOKUP formula what that unique identifier is. And I have to do that from the spreadsheet that I want everything to land in, which in this case is this grade spreadsheet. So I'm going to click on this cell so that that will populate. And I'm going to hit a comma so that I can put the next argument in my formula. The next part is the range. In other words, if I want to look up this item, where am I comparing that information to? What is the whole source spreadsheet? And the range of that. So for that, I'm going to click the submissions because this is the source of that information. And I'm going to highlight everything that is part of that spreadsheet. So I'm going to highlight including that manual range. I'm sorry, that manual grade. And I'm going to highlight so that I've selected all of the responses. So once I've done that, I let go. And you'll notice it fills in. It tells it's directing to the sheet and then the range of cells. And then I'm going to have a comma again now for my third argument. The third part of this formula is where I tell which column I want the data to be grabbed from. So I know that this username is going to help determine which, which row 
is matching up, but I need, I need to say which column. So the way that this works is you actually count the number of columns to get the one that you want. So this would be column one, two, three, four, and so on. So in other words, if what I wanted to grab was their response to question one, then I would put in a number four there, and that would return the fourth column's data for that particular row. In this case, the column I want is actually all the way over here. It's column number 15. So I'm going to put a 15 here for that third part of the formula. And then a comma for the last part of the formula. This is where I put a true or false. You're going to use the word false always because if you use a true uh, statement here, what that does is it will find the closest approximation to that search key. So in other words, um, you would end up with data that's not accurate. So you want to use the word false here and then close the parentheses and hit enter. And that will bring you back. Whoops, it looks like I used the wrong column. Let me fix that. So I guess it isn't 15. Maybe it's 16. Let me see. Yep, perfect. Okay, that's what I wanted was the grade for the, the manual grade. So you'll notice this is my complete formula right up here. And so VLOOKUP and then open parentheses, you put in the search key from the spreadsheet that is going to be the destination spreadsheet. Then you highlight or type out the range from the source spreadsheet, which is this one here that has all of our um, responses. And then the third part of it is the, the column number that you're going to use to grab the information again from the source spreadsheet. And the last part is to use the word false to make sure it only finds exact matches. Uh, there's just one last thing you want to do so that you can simply just uh, grab the corner and then copy down this formula. So you want to add some dollar signs in parts of this, uh, the cell numbers, because that will keep things from shifting when you copy down. If you've ever used spreadsheets before, this is familiar to you. So I'm going to add a dollar sign in front of the B but not in front of the number eight. Uh, so I just need to, to put that in front of the letter for that, um, for that first cell. And then I'm going to put dollar signs here and here. So in front of the column and the row at the beginning of the source spreadsheet range, as well as the end. So this means when I copy down the formula that these numbers won't shift each time I drag the formula down. Again, if you've used spreadsheet formulas before, this might be familiar to you. So I'm going to hit enter. And now I can simply drag this down and it will fill in automatically. So now you can see that all of the grades have been filled in. So let's go to the next part. We need to calculate the percentage that the manual grade is um, counting for. So, so in other words, this was out of four points. So I'm going to do a simple formula to say equals, I'm going to call out the cell, this cell divided by the number four. And I have already highlighted and made this cell uh, formatted into a percentage. So if you didn't do that prior, you'll need to do that so that you'll get a percent score. So I'm just going to copy this down as well. And it's going to calculate the percentage of all of these scores. But now what I have to do is I need to weight the score. So right now I have the, the percentage score for the open response as well as the percentage for the multiple choice items. And the way that this quiz works is that the multiple choice items comprised 80% of the test grade or the quiz grade and the manual grading open response item counted for 20% of the grade. So this just means I need to put in a formula so that I can weight both of those values. So I'm going to say equals, I have an open parenthesis and I'm going to grab the percent score from Fluberoo here. I'm going to call out this cell, put a comma, oh, sorry, and then uh, a times 0.8 because it's 80% of the score. And then close that parenthesis and then say plus open parentheses, and now I'm going to grab the information for the manual score. So this percent score times 0.2. Close the parentheses and then hit enter. 
So what you'll see is that it calculates the total score. It'll make more sense when I drag it down so you can see. Uh, remember before how I told you that sometimes you, if you're going to drag a formula down, you want to put dollar signs to keep things from shifting. So I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of the column information here so that that won't drift. And then, oops, let's go back. And then I'm just going to drag this down. And then you'll see that I have the total score now that's weighted so that it calculates the score based on both the manual open response scored item and the Fluber graded items. Thanks for watching. For this and other tutorial videos and tips on using technology in your classroom, check us out online at teachingforward.net.